it's a yes bang maximum, the first of this contest. Oh, that is brilliant. It's a hero maximum. On the ground, on the ground, another hero maximum. The complete dropping of Guptal from the ODI squad as well as the T20s. I can almost, I can sort of get it with the T20s. Um, they want to give Fennel, I guess, the keys, but the ODI one is probably something that I'm still struggling to deal with. Mm. I just feel like that's, that's. I mean, it's a top five ODI player ever for New yeah. Zealand. Like he's definitely in that conversation. Yeah, and I think like there's – there is a certain like level of player that earns the right to like go out on their own terms, in a way. Like, Birmingham now isn't winning us the World Cup, and like next year, like our best chance to win the World Cup next year is actually for Guptill to have sort of like one last hurrah. And if that's like, if he can decide that on his own and he gets prepared for that, that is probably going to free him up, and he's actually going to like build up to that. Whereas like Birmingham here, it's like, well, what are you saying? Like, is Guptill done now? Like. How what what what's his way back into our like into the one day side and what's his way into that World Cup squad? Like, is he going to be that motivated to go and be fucking fourteenth man at the next World Cup and hope someone gets injured and maybe run him Estonia out? Like, no, he's not. He's not really going to like fizz up for that. And he's he's had too good of a career for that to be sort of our last memory of him in international cricket. Yeah, and I guess the only thing you you sort of we don't get the the privy of knowing is what conversations are being had behind the scenes. Um, you'd hope with a guy like Guttall, they're they're sort of handling and doing all the right things behind the scenes, and and in talks about you know what is the pathway forward for him. Because um, as you say, it's not it's not like anyone's what Finn had what that one game in Aussie where like as we we're all impressed in that last one day, uh, but it's not like anyone's really knocking the door down, is it? Like, it's not like he's, you know, already scored a couple of hundreds in international cricket and the writing's on the wall for Guttall. Like, there's still a genuine case to be made that Guttall's our best choice. So, uh, yeah, you yeah. just hope yeah. there's conversations being had about, like, what the future's yeah. looking like. Yeah, and I could sort of understand it if it was just before a T20 World Cup and you're like, look, we're just going to take the bulk of the T20 squad. We'll give them some one day as just, you know, give them some batting, give them some time in their environment, like, to build up to this. Uh, build up to the World Cup as a squad. But, like, there's not a World Cup around the corner. The next World Cup's a one-day one. And as you see, Crom, like, he's surely one of our best options at the top. And it's just like, yeah, well, like, what are we doing? And as you said, hopefully those conversations have been had. But, fucking hell, it's a pretty, it's a pretty rough one. Well, the, the one thing I just don't understand is that they, they seem to have – decided now that it's Finn Allen and Conway to open in one day is. And obviously, just in one day cricket, we've got Finn Allen, he got that nice 30-odd. Is that like enough to sort of say he's the future? And then Conway, are we sure he should be opening in one day cricket? Like, I'm not saying he definitely is, but he's only done it one series against Australia. And that's other than that, he was batting at four. Like, we don't necessarily know for sure that that's our opening call and I just think that Guptal to do if he if he retires like which is his right to be fair he might go mm. like I, I don't I don't think I can like you said Jacko carry the drinks for another just to just to sit on the bench just to maybe get on the park every now and then if he retires and we don't get his experience and this combination of Finn Allen and Conway doesn't work and we have to go up there with Nichols again, um, or a make, another makeshift opener. I think that's a that's a massive like fuck up. If you're that sold, bet bet Finn with Gupto at the top and have Conway at four, like something like that. I don't know. Like it just seems like it seems like there's too many eggs in the basket, and they've decided like Gupto's the old shit one that no one wants to cook with. And it's like right out your pop when it's like actually. We haven't seen, like, Phillips is batting unbelievably in T20 cricket, but, like, we haven't seen it in one-day cricket. One, There's still a lot of time in one-day cricket, and you need just genuine batters. Like, go up to it four, and, like, you could bat Phillips at six in one-day cricket or at five, and you'd actually, like, still got a genuine option there. So, yeah, I think, I think they've got that wrong, and I think they've got it badly wrong. Yeah, I guess the only good thing is it's sort of, I guess uh, looking at this as the start of the build to, you know, to the next White Bull um, World Cup. 
I guess there's still enough time that they can make a change if, if this doesn't go right. But yeah, it needs to. We need to sort of, I guess, start to look at our best eleven and try and get it sorted. So it'll be the next couple of series are probably pretty important with what we're going to do going forward. 